I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a qualified physician in internal medicine. I have been practicing for last 25 years. In Stanford Hospital, I have been here for last 2 to 3 years in Kaikondrahalli. As the question goes, it is regarding a multinodular goiter in women. Uh, there are a couple of aspects to this. And number one is the age of the patient. It's very important because the age also decides uh, what cycle is the patient in. Uh, in other words, it means that whether she is in a reproductive age or she is in a non-reproductive age. And uh, these things can decide the hormonal interface or hormonal orchestra of the body. Uh, so this also means that when we are talking about goiter, we are talking about thyroid. And thyroid is a part of the uh, endocrine axis of the, in the body, which deals with other organ systems, with hormones. So hormones actually uh, have an interplay between them. It is not only the thyroid, which is self-dependent. It can be other factors in the body or it can be other organs in the body, which can play a primary role or a secondary role with a multinodular goiter. And anti-TPO antibody may not be the only marker which will decide the treatment of a multinodal goiter. So there are many other indications or biomarkers. There are many coexisting diseases. There can be an ultrasound needed. There can be a biopsy needed to exactly come to a diagnosis. So anti-TPO antibody in a multinodal goiter is only a part and parcel of a larger spectrum of disease which you have to find out. And when it comes to a woman, then obviously we will have to look into the factors deciding uh, what other hormonal changes she is undergoing. As uh, decides the uh, complications or any other disease, I think it can be coexisting diseases which can be there. It cannot be only thing that there are other diseases which can come as a complication, but it is mostly important to understand the coexistence of other diseases and maybe to find out where it is coming from. The multinodal goiter can be a precipitating factor or it can be the effect of something else.